What's up, y'all? So, seafood, bull, mukbang, I got punched. Zoe has been going through some things, and he about to spill the tea, child. So, I'm ready to see it. Um, and ready to watch him not chew none of this food and just swallow it and suck on the shrimp. All right, so let's get into it. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Neek G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying? And what the goddamn hell, yeah, league? So, this is not. I already read the title. I actually got food of my own. Shout out to my woman for taking care of me. All right, let's get it. Oh. For you! I was building you, I was helping you, I saw you for you, stupid! I did this, you tried that, you copy me, that's my sweat, that's my style, give it back, three words. Hey creeps, and welcome back to my channel. As you already know, you can't sit with me unless you are P.O.P. and that is pretty on purpose. How you doing? I went to the Juicy Crab in McDonough. And shout out, what was his name? Was it AJ or Ashton? Whatever his name was, y'all, I'm tipsy. I had two Duce margaritas, then he gave me a shot. I am tipsy. So y'all know I always get the um, Juicy Special. <laughs> the, <sn> <laughs> the Snow Crabs Pound. The Pound of Shrimp, No Head, whatever. Whatever, y'all, I'm tipsy. Get your weed, get your drink. Y'all gotta catch up because the bitch is gone. Okay, where's my phone? I'm about to let everything out. Okay. You know, we hit for the tea. Y'all, I am tipsy. Oh my God. No. <laughs> COVID. All right, hold on. Y'all get your stuff. <laughs> I got mine, bitch. Okay, I just gotta tell y'all. I gotta catch y'all up. I've been hiding. Okay. Oh shit. Okay. Oh! How did it come out? Oh my god. So you knew that was gonna happen. I seen it when it first flashed. My house gonna stink. Oh Jesus. I was just trying to be funny. Oh my god, okay. So that's why they double bag it. This shit need to be in a fucking pot. This ain't enough room. Okay, girl. Oh, oh, I'm still gonna eat it. Okay, no, oh no. shit. And <laughs> he messed his hell right At here. this point. Okay, so calm down. You doing too much. All right, ooh, my whole table for this thing. Bring it. You're new, why are you squeaking? Welcome back, friend. Thank you. Okay. Get back. Are we good? Oh, we're not prepared. Two corns, <laughs> shitty kitty. Okay, I don't need a shitty kitty. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Relax! I just bought you! Jesus Christ! Okay. I'm so unprepared! Okay. I need more liquor. Jesus Christ. Okay. And I'm talking about going out with my... Okay. Just whatever. Okay. <clears throat> God is great. Buy your heads. Don't be disrespectful. God is great. God is good. Let us thank him for our food. Buy our heads. We all be fed. Give us order our daily bread. Wait. Buy your hands. We all be fed. Give us order our daily bread. My Lord is my shepherd. I should I want. They made this food real fast because I went in there. I ordered it on site. Amen. And it was ready in like five minutes. <laughs> I just... Freezer burn. Lord, please bless my soul that it nourishes my body and gives me strength. Doo-doo, you know I don't like it. Please uh -huh. no doo-doo, because right now I'm tipsy. I will talk about this location in their face. Crap, snow. <laughs> snow crab. 
Let it be good. Not fishy. Um, it smells good. Whoever cook was, it's you put too much garlic. I don't like the garlic chips. I said no garlic chips, but it's okay. Anyway, thank you, thank you, thank you. Because some people don't have no food. They have on the expressway, begging for a dollar. I'm not, so I bless you. Okay, ooh, I'm tipsy. Amen. Give me this one on the table. Can't be like you too good. So, y'all, look. Ooh, clean. So, that was five minutes. Mm, that's how I like it. So, y'all, first, I'm going to start off with New Year's. I got into an altercation. Oh, shit. I went to this place in Riverdale. I was turning up with Why my friend. We was lit. Turned up. Woo -woo -woo -woo. Right? I'm drinking. Empty stomach. I didn't eat no food. We, I had douce. All bad. And I was taking it with shots of cranberry. Whatever, whatever. Alright? Drunk. Michi. Michi, if you're watching, you don't even watch there. But Michi. Y'all, I took a mean. I ain't scared to say it. I don't care. Ain't nobody been talking about me. I don't get you took a bean. Y'all, my friend losing it. The fuck we all do shit. Oh, doo doo. Don't eat I took shit. a bean. Quit eating that shit. And I was high. As fuck. High. Out of my mind. New Year's crime! Pot the bean. Child. Over with. Oh, no. Because I was on my lap. Y'all watching my lap. I said, I told y'all I was going to tell you what happened. Uh -huh. So I took my bean. I'm high. In the club. Stupid. I don't know what the fuck. I look at videos the next day. I'm over there sniffing bitches' pussy. Licking pussy. Oh shit. Oh, that's disrespectful. Licking pussy. Smelling pussy. Dancing. What? Stupid. I don't know what the fuck. I look at videos the next day. I'm over there sniffing bitches' pussy. Licking pussy. Oh shit. Oh, that's disrespectful. So Zo get straight when he get drunk. Licking pussy. Smelling pussy, oh, dancing, man. everything. We leave the club. We I mean, hell, he wasn't prepared, and I'm not either. I go to Waffle House. My friend Deanna was like, so, no, go home. Y'all go home. Y'all drunk. Woo, woo, woo. Oh, Bitch, we go to Waffle House. Y'all, I'm out of my mind. I don't even know I went to Waffle House. I don't know none of this. I know it now. Because they told me the story and I can visualize what happened. Like I remember that it happened, but like at that moment, I didn't know it was happening. I thought it was like a dream. Uh -huh. So we go to Waffle House. I didn't even know my, I parked, my friend parked on the other side. They parked on the other side and a, oh shit. A girl hit her car. I didn't know none of this happened. So, I don't even know how to even section this because I don't remember. I remember that we went to the register and I want to apologize to the girl and I want to apologize to the woman if y'all watch me because my cousin said the lady was like, oh my God, I'm a fan of him. I just, I would have got his water. So, y'all, if they're watching this, sorry, baby. I was on another level, and I'm so sorry. I want to go down there and see them and say sorry. Um, but anyway, we went to the um, walk up window at Waffle House, or we went inside. I don't fuck. I don't know. It was in Riverdale. Bitch, we don't know what you did. And um, Steve. It was a pretty girl at the window. I don't know. And I was like, Oh my god. This is what my friends are telling me. And I knew I said this, but I didn't know I said this. They was like, I was like, oh my God. Are you a girl or a boy? You're so beautiful. 
And she's like, I'm, I'm a girl. I was like, oh, because you're just so beautiful. Like, I was saying the most disrespectful shit. When, like, when you're, like, geeked, you say stuff that comes to your mind. So I was just like, oh, my God, you're a girl boy. You're so beautiful. Oh, my God. And I was like, it's okay. I'm a girl, too. And she was like, well, no, I'm a real girl. I was like, I'm a real girl, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just high, just talking. And she was, and she didn't come back to the window. And then the lady came. And I think I asked for a water. She was like, okay, one moment. And my cousin was like, Zoe, you was like, one moment? Fuck you, bitch, one moment. I'm, I'm just cussing her out, letting her have it. And that's just so, that's ugly. And I want to say, I am so sorry, sweetheart. That's real ugly, Zoe. I did not mean to do none of that. Mm -mm. Now. We get to outside. Child. I guess when my cousin and them were going to their car, some girls are pulling in and the girls hit their car. They fussing. Mind you, I don't know. I'm walking to my car. I guess these niggas was trying to set me up to rob me or I thought I was by myself. That's why your ass don't need to be in Riverdale. What the fuck? Y'all? Respectfully. Zoe ain't supposed to be out in Riverdale. You are not fucking money bagging them just chilling in their hood and shit. Yeah, but like they, it was a black SUV. They park behind my Mustang. Oh, whatever case may be. They over here fussing. I'm walking to my car. This dude walks up to me. I don't even remember how it happened. I just remember it happening. And like, he walks up and he swings, y'all. And he punches me. Like, but I move. But his knuckles still got my jaw. I'm like, my cousin, and my cousin said, because I remember doing it. My cousin, my cousin was like, so you was like, hold up. <laughs> what the fuck? Right. Up. They over there, they turned around. They're like, so we saw him punch you, but we didn't know what the fuck was going on. I think they thought I was by myself and the niggas was trying to rob me. I don't know. Because I didn't even argue with him. Somebody just like, said, is that a bad place? Is that place bad? Not that it's bad, but you know, everybody got their hood. You know, it's a hood area that a person that got a lot of money who everybody know got a lot of money shouldn't be there without security, without a gun. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to say no place is bad because we all got our hoods. We, you know, it's niggas that can go in the hood right now and it ain't bad. But for Zoe, it's bad. He shouldn't have been there. Like, why are you? And he had his camera out. Like, they had camera phones out. What? It was some girls. Like, I don't remember none of this. Oh, right? my God. But they had camera phones out. My cousin was like, so they had camera phones. Like, they was, like, trying to make this shit go viral or whatever. Whatever the case may be. And um, she's like, they had camera phones out and everything. And mind you, y'all, I geeked up. If I was sober, I would have Nigga, we're fighting. We're fighting. You swung on me, nigga. And mind you, he swung and disappeared. I don't even know where the fuck he went. Like, I was like, where the nigga go that so hit? So he wanted to say he stole off on Zoe. And... <sighs> hey, where did he go? Like, where are you? And my cousin like, Zoe, you like, where you at? Where did he go? He had on a mask. What? It was a blue ski mask. Oh. And um, I don't even remember this. They, This is what they're telling me. He had on a blue ski mask. And he punched me or whatever. And like, um, well, tried to punch me, but it connected with like, I think like a little bit of the knuckle and it went like this, like it grazed me. So, um, I'm, I'm mad. I'm talking shit. My cousin, like what the fuck? My cousin DJ, mind you y'all, they had AKs, they had guns, everything. I didn't see none of this. I saw nothing. I'm high as shit, saw nothing. I'm talking shit like, I got my gun, bitch. I don't give a fuck. Mind you, I have a gun. 
But at that time, I left my gun because I wasn't thinking about no altercation. Why wouldn't you be thinking about an altercation? Yeah. Once again, I don't give a fuck if y'all call me scary, cautious. I don't trust nobody. Especially in Riverdale. Okay? For you to think it could potentially not be an altercation in Riverdale. Anywhere here. But especially Riverdale. <laughs> That's a mistake. Everybody knows who he is. People want to catch niggas like him lacking. They want to catch everybody who was in the spotlight lacking. Oh, my God. I'm talking shit. I got my gun, too, nigga. What the fuck? I don't give no fuck. Look, I hear people. And don't have your gun. I hear people saying, oh, they got guns. They got guns. I'm like, okay, I got a gun, too. Bitch, I ain't no fuck. I don't give a shit. I got a gun, too. That's how they really had guns. I ain't had shit, girl. I'm just talking. So I guess that's why he disappeared, because he didn't want to get shot. But DJ, I love you. I love my cousin DJ. Because DJ was like, um, DJ said, I don't give a fuck about no gun. <laughs> DJ said, y'all put the guns out, y'all ain't shooting nobody. Shoot me, bitch. I die today. Like my cousin talking shit. She's like, I die. I die. I don't give no fuck. I die. This I'm like, that's real, baby. in my head. I don't remember shit. But now I'm like, that's my motherfucking cousin. Yes, bitch. Yeah. Child. We finna get killed. <laughs> like literally though. Dead shot. 2022. January 3rd. Two faggots. <laughs> Dead gone. She like, shoot me. Y'all put the guns out. She do that every time. DJ <laughs> is not scared of no gun. No nigga. No gun. No. She's like, shoot me. They said I walked up the one. Like y'all, I don't remember. They said, I walked up to one of the guys and said, nigga, whose side are you on? Because what the fuck is happening? Like, I don't remember none of that. They said, that, and Star was like, so you said, nigga, whose side are you on? <laughs> 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 Not I was in the beat tone. <laughs> but, uh, oh! <laughs> Hold on, y'all. Now that Ooh. got splashed. Bro. My friend going through it. But yeah, um... That's just crazy, like, and then, so, I walked into the guy's car with the AK, and I was like, nigga, I ain't got no problem with you. He was like, that, I do remember this, though. He was like, back up, back up, I'm good, I'm good. Nigga, I don't have a problem with you. Like, I don't care, like, I'm not trying to fight. Like, somebody just punched me. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Like, y'all pulling out AKs this and is guns why. for a, a gay-ass nigga, y'all. I'm very, 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 very cautious about who I'm around especially now <coughs> it's even worse but <coughs> people had you fucked up by him they had you in a bad 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 situation I'm out guns for a gay nigga and a bunch of girls I'm with a bunch of pretty ass girls and a stud and y'all pull guns out like that is fucking stupid and childish like your hands aren't that lethal that you can't beat my ass and some stud asses, you need to go home. Look at my jeans. A gay nigga who says it's Friday and fucking girls and you pull fucking AKs and guns out like you want to shoot me. I'm mad now because I'm sober. I'm not all I'm drunk a little bit. <laughs> but I'm mad because I'm like, like nigga, like I was fucking high as shit. And you still had to pull a gun out and couldn't fuck up a, a drunk, high nigga, a, a gay nigga? And you pull guns out and then you sneak me? Like, that shit pissed me <laughs> off. When Zoe was not in character, baby. <laughs> he is so upset. Because, like, one thing about me, I'm never scared. I know how to fight and I don't give a fuck about none of this bullshit. I know how to fight. So that made me mad the next day that I got sober. I was like, what the fuck? That really just happened. 
And I wasn't even involved in anything. Like, they're fussing because there was a girl who hit her car. I'm walking to my car, and you're just trying to set me up. I don't know if you're trying to, I don't know if he was trying to go viral or if he was trying to rob me because you parked behind my car. And then all of a sudden, this nigga comes and he's talking shit and punched me. And then he disappears. Bitch. Whatever. He's given the matrix. That was my New Year's. I don't Whatever. Know. So let's get into. I don't even want to eat. Let's get into my dude I was talking to. So, like I told y'all on live, people think I be single. I'm very private. This is why I'm able to date DL guys, whatever the case may be. Woo -woo -woo -woo. Y'all, I don't even know where I was at. I am so fucking pissed because the nigga just. Zo. <laughs> this is another Zo, okay? I knew his energy has been off. I'm telling y'all. That's why I was like, ah. I had to sit out a couple messy Mondays because his energy been so off. And it's clearly because he's been unhappy. Probably this nigga. What he do? The nigga just caught me. So let me tell y'all. I'm, I'm going to tell y'all this. Because if he was on my live, I told y'all, I don't even know what the fuck I was talking about. I am so fucking mad. I am so mad. Because I hate when people try to manipulate people and make them think like they were the ones that caused whatever the situation to happen. I was in a relationship, y'all. I'm gonna, I, we weren't like, a, we weren't saying boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever. Boyfriend, 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 girlfriend, whatever. We weren't saying that. But I met some guy. March of 2021, I met them in March. And I met him at a liquor store, whatever. I was like, oh my God, they're so fucking fine. I want to talk to them, whatever. So they went in the store and I came out and I said to my cousin Star, I was like, bitch, act like you want him because girl, I, I got to have him. So she told him to come to the car. He comes to the car and she gets his number or whatever the case may be. And I was like, bitch, I'm, I'm going to get him. And so... He ends up finding my Instagram because his ex-girlfriend followed me, whatever the case may be, woo, woo, woo. He said, hey, what's your cousin's number because she ain't hit me up yet. I was like, I'm going to tell you the truth. She didn't hit, I, I was like, hey, she's not going to hit you up because she hit you up for me, whatever, whatever, woo, 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 boom. He was like, what are you talking about? I ain't like that. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. So, I'm like, okay, well, it is what it is. <laughs> And then all of a sudden he's like, well, you're cool as shit. I know you from my girlfriend. She thought she was funny. Boom. We start talking. Whatever. And it gets whatever. Y'all, I am so fucking. He was I want to get the fuck out of him. So anyway, um, we start kicking it. Shit get real. Whatever. Boom. Real. We legit. So, um, his communication is bad. Fucking bad-ass communication. Don't know how to talk. I'm asking you how to talk. Like, mind you, he's always in his phone. He does that Twitch shit where they play games. They're always on their phone. And I'm like, you're always on your phone, so why can't you fucking hit me up while you're on your phone? Like, you're always on your phone. So, you know, we're good. And I start suspecting shit when, like, he will wake up, go outside, smoke weed on my back porch, and take his phone and all this other stuff. I'm like, okay, whatever. So, you know, I saw Texas before, but I'm that type of bitch, like, you know, if I don't have all the way proof, then I'm not gonna, you know, question my nigga. Like, I'm just not gonna do that. Like, you know, if you tell if you tell me one thing, I'm gonna believe you. Like, but I'm not dumb. I'm I'm not, I'm not dumb. I'm gonna believe you. Whatever. <laughs> and so I believed him. And then I can't tell y'all everything. <laughs> Just fast forward to now. <laughs> it has to be depressing to live so private. And, and, well, no. When you can't tell your story, 
when you can't share your person, whatever. <sighs> Girl. <laughs> That's a lot. Fast forward to now. He comes to my house on January 31st. And something just said, because when I do, <laughs> I went through his phone once before, and I saw a message with him and his homeboy. Oh, shit. She broke my phone because this, 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 is that. And I'm like, I never broke his phone. Or whatever. And I just never broke his phone. I got his phone fixed. So I asked him about that. And we just let it go. And so, January 31st, um, I went in his phone again. I said, give me your phone, just, just let me see your phone. And when I went in it, he was texting some bitch. And I was just reading all the messages. I went all the way up to November. Just shit, just like shit, like calling her beautiful. Good morning. Zoe cannot. I mean, it's no fucking way. This might sound hypocritical, though. I was just going to say he can't expect a, 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 a straight man to fully commit to him when he ain't really gay. But with women, it's totally different. But niggas ain't shit. I mean, bitches ain't either, but... Y'all get what I'm saying? How could he not expect? How could he not expect? Why, why he be so surprised when they cheat? I don't understand that. When they're beautiful, then this and that. <coughs> <laughs> they're going to miss women. And I didn't even go past November. <coughs> it probably went past that. And he's like, those are times we weren't talking, nigga. We was talking in November, you dummy. <laughs> and when we did, was mad at each other, it was like for two weeks. Are, are you dumb? So. <laughs> two weeks a long God. ass time, though. So. so anyway. <laughs> I was like, what's well, right. up? A man on the DL sound worse than cheating. He already hadn't. <laughs> He already can't even be in his truth. That's what I'm saying. How do you expect a man who already not living in his truth to be uh, 100% committed to you? It's not even real. I don't, you know what? It's like, and I know him. When he kiss, it's through there. When he kiss, it's all the way. Like, he through there. And so, uh... I was like, go home. Just go home. I'm gonna go with my people. Go home. Go be with her. He's like, that's my ex. And so, he saw me on my live today. And he was like, um, I don't know. He texted me. Um, he text me. And he's just like, I didn't know if you wanted kids or to adopt and this and that. Trying to make it seem like it was just my fault. And like, Okay. Nigga, from from day one, I'm begging you to be vocal, to talk, to communicate, to speak. Like, when you're not around me, your phone is in your hand. I'm not dumb. I know when he was around me, he was with some bitch. He ain't got to tell me. He ain't got to tell me. I know he was with some bitch. I mean, we I all know. know that, friend. I know. I I know that. I, I know. Y'all know that. And he's trying to make me feel like it was all me because I wasn't. Man, fuck it. Y'all, I don't want to talk about it. It's going to piss me off. It's going to piss me off. I thought I'd talk about it on here, but I can't because niggas. Niggas are corny, bro. Facts. Niggas are corny and they're liars. Facts. They're liars. And like. I mean, the, the whole line of, I ain't even like that. And then next thing you know, I'm sucking your dick. Nah, bro. You's a liar. 
I already know you a liar from the jump. You lied to me about that. You lied to me about anything. <laughs> so, <coughs> I mean, I would already know that he's a liar. DL niggas are probably the top liars in the world. Honestly. <laughs> Nigga, so do you, uh, can I holler at you? I don't fuck with dudes. Oh, all right. But you still let me. Okay. All right. Yes, bro. They're liars. And when they get caught, they try to make you feel, I'm, I'm, I'm spitting, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> They try to make you feel like just whatever. Just whatever. it was almost a fucking year of me. Almost a fucking year. But I did, I loved him. I loved him a lot. So whatever. Zoe is a hopeless romantic for the wrong fuck nigga. Whatever. I know. I don't know what his type would be. Hell. He probably need an older man. Mm -hmm. I wasn't giving him, like, you know, some people are like, you was just probably giving them money. No. <laughs> no. I don't pay for dick, baby. She's not that girl. I'm over it. Like, I'm over it because I had to, I cut my camera off because he called me. Just yes, now. Can we talk about it? No. I don't want to talk about nothing. I don't want to talk about nothing. Like, I... <laughs> I would think I was a hoe. And I tell, and I tell niggas, if you still want pussy, just say that and let's just, let me decide what I want to do. I agree with that, but I, I can't say Zoe ain't a vocal person because I'm sure he is, but nigga, maybe he should switch up the way he's saying and say, nigga, I know you still want pussy. So just go ahead and keep it hot with me. You know what I'm saying? In the event of when you want some shit, honestly, and I'll be able to deal with me. Or Zoe need to have him a roster a couple niggas. I mean, honestly. And, um, you know, whoever he fucking with, gonna have to deal it because he fucking with women. I don't know. That's too many souls on one dick. Ah! Ooh, child, that's too much. But to just lie to me... And make me feel like I'm the only one. I don't like that shit, bro. He, I don't know. he should know that's cap, though. It's so much I want to say. I'm so mad. I just knew I was gonna get into debt. And this mother. I mean, we had good times. Like, shit, shit was good at the beginning. He was very honest and vocal. But then I just start seeing the difference. I start seeing, all right. <coughs> I start seeing shit not add up. <coughs> like whenever you weren't around me, like that's the time. Like he was like, well, you never wanted, when I wanted to be around you, you wanted me to be gone. Like I'm the type of person, like I want to be around you, but I want to miss you. Like don't, <coughs> Son of a bitch. Don't smother. <coughs> Don't smother me. Like, I want you to have your life. I want you to live your life. But while you're not around me, still call. Obey what you doing? I'm doing this. And if I call you, I should have to wait no two. <coughs> Dying. <coughs> Dying. I should have to wait no two or three hours. Oh my god, this shit's hot. You know what? 
I thought I could talk about this. Well, we didn't get nothing. I can't talk about it because I'm pissed. I am angry because you get to a point in your life where you are <laughs> tired of like giving people benefit of the doubt and trusting. You got some water. For you know Girl. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. My friend Phyllis is a fuck it. People are liars. People lie. People are manipulators. I just... Fuck niggas. Fuck people. Like... What did he say? It's not, it's not, I'm, wait, it's not you. I'm not trying to blame nothing on you. It's just how I feel. And I put my homie on to her. Then been fucking, they been fucking for the last three weeks. I never fuck. Yeah, I'm wrong. But you was just making me feel like we just gone do the same or be the same forever. I'm sorry though. I will forever love you. Yeah, that's a lie. It's just a lie with this story. You put your homie on a bitch that you was texting. Good morning, beautiful. She said you kissed so good. You put your homie on her. And then you turned around and told me it was your ex. So you put your homie on your ex? Right. When you lie, you have to tell another lie. Uh, to fact. cover up that lie. To cover up that lie. Because I was thinking like, was niggas shit, just like, lie like, for no fucking reason. I put my homie on her. He been fucking on her for three weeks. Nigga, you said it was your ex, you dumb fuck. And you want to sit here and tell me that... Oh, so that's my ex, but right? I put my homie on her. Nigga, fuck you. You're a liar. And you right. said that I didn't, you didn't, you thought we weren't going to go anywhere else. Yeah, you fucking right. We weren't going to go anywhere else because I had to sit here and school and teach a grown ass man how to communicate, how to talk, how to function when he's not around somebody. And I sat here and I was trying to help build your stupid ass. Dummy! I was building you. I was helping you. I saw you for you, stupid! You know, y'all, I gotta get off this shit. I gotta get off this shit. All right, friend. I gotta get off this shit. Okay. Because what I do, I, I try to make people see their worth. I try to help you see that life is beautiful. Life is amazing. You are some fucking body. And when you have a person like me who has a big ass fucking heart, who tries to help you see that you are special. You are somebody. Your life is not over. There is more for you in this world than what you think you have. And then you fucking li Oh my God. Fuck you, 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 and anybody else. Fuck y'all. Fuck y'all. Fuck. I didn't do nothing. Fuck y'all. So you know what? Fuck the mukbang. Fuck it. Fuck him. I am just in my feelings, y'all. I'm in I'm my feelings. He shouldn't have caught me. He caught me during the mukbang, and I'm pissed. He done caught him at the wrong time. Fuck! This was, a, this was supposed to be a good mukbang. I'm pissed. I am so fucking pissed right now. Okay, you got us, Because mate. I, like, y'all. Jesus. <laughs> Fuck, I'm so mad. Okay, what time is it? Nine o'clock. I'm trying to get up tonight. I love you. God only made one of you. If you don't be you, then nobody else will. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. Please don't take this as like, Zoe, it's okay. We love you. Don't just, yeah, I'm mad. Any breakup, you get mad. 
You get frustrated. Fuck niggas. You get in your feelings. I love you guys. <laughs> do, do, do. Bye. <laughs> do, do, do. Y'all gonna quit fucking with my friend. He gotta find a new way to date. Cause these fuck niggas out here he choosing ain't it. I'm sick of my camera doing that shit. Anyway, I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.